Hey, what's going on everyone? My name is Josh Mills. I've been working with Piano Marvel for about six months. Uh, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how I use Piano Marvel to learn songs faster than ever. I've been working on uh, the Sonata in C Major by Mozart, K545. I've been working on the first movement for about two, three weeks. And today I wanna see how far I can get on the second movement using Piano Marvel. Uh, I'm gonna give myself like an hour time limit and see how far I can go. So uh, without further ado, uh, we'll get started. Let me get these cameras going. Okay, so this should be a pretty good view of the software. Let me just check to make sure this feed is up and going. It's saying I'm live, so I'm pretty sure we're good to go. So yeah, if anyone's watching this, uh, feel free to reach out uh, and ask any questions while I'm going along. I'm going to be showing the tools and how I use Piano Marvel to really uh, keep me on track when I practice, uh, as well as how Piano Marvel is kind of expediting the entire learning process by breaking it up using the slicing modes. All right, so yeah, it's looking like I'm live, so that's exciting. Cool, all right, I'm gonna get started. Uh, so yeah, on my screen right here, this is the um, view of the dashboard. This is of the Sonata. Uh, real quick, if you're not familiar with the Sonata, this is the one that I'm talking about. So it's that whole thing. So that's the first movement, uh, which I've already been learning. I'm pretty far in it. Uh, it's not perfect, but one day I'll probably show you it. Uh, what I want to show you today, like I said, is this second movement. So this is the second movement. Uh, over here on the iPad, let me get on this view only. Over here on the iPad, you'll see that there's two views. Right now I'm in page view, but if I press this scroll view, this is something brand new on the iPad update that will be coming out very soon. We're working hard to get it out for you guys. Um, this is a view that is just way more, uh, it's closer, it's easy to read, so I'm super excited about it. Uh, okay, let me get you going back on this, and I'm gonna learn it. So yeah, like I said, if you have any questions, please reach out to me. I'm gonna be trying to uh, look at my uh, post whilst I'm doing this. Um, so yeah, if you have any questions, let me know. I wanna answer them, uh, here I go. So yeah, as you can see, we also have this prepare mode now, uh, which is super cool. Okay, I can't lie, I have heard this, I've listened to Glenn Gould's recording of this, uh, and it's awesome. I'm gonna to try to just assess it at the slow speed, One. see how I can do. Set. Go. Oh, that is just beautiful. Okay, um, so that's good. So I have my fingerings around here. Let's see what I'm doing wrong. Okay. someone saying hello hello Heather Heather Mac is what it looks like how are you doing out there um, hope you're liking the idea uh, let me know if you've heard this sonata before or if you've played it um, 
Cool, I got 100%. Let's let's move right along. Let's see if I can uh, do this next one. Oh, no, I did it too fast. Now, I would not recommend doing that. I'm going to go back here and hit the speed that I should have pressed at the beginning. One. I don't know what I was thinking. Set. Maybe I'm nervous. Go. Okay, 94, because I stink. <laughs> um, okay, I'm gonna try to get it going faster because I was doing fine. I usually don't skip. I usually go to speed. I'm sorry, I shouldn't be doing this. This is bad form. Uh, but That's I it. pressed the wrong one at the beginning, cool. so. So, oh man, I should have got that. I just have bad timing at the beginning. So why is it important for me to do this three times in a row? I'm sure if any of you are piano teachers out there, you are familiar with um, the repetition of three. I've had piano teachers tell me, uh, you don't really know it until Ten. you know it three times. Go. Three times, perfect. Not just three times in a row. Um, There we go. All right. Just looking on here to see if y'all are saying anything. No, you're not. Uh, let's go to this left hand. Oh no, that's the. Okay, so G G G G C. Cool, that's not too bad. Let's give it a whirl. And uh, let me make sure that I'm not being a rookie like I was last time. I am on the slowest speed. That is what we recommend. You work your way up as you go. Okay. One, set, go. So I will probably by the next time you see this live stream, I will have gone back and made that 100% just because I am definitely a perfectionist um, in One. some regards, Set. at least with Piano Marvel. Go.
So I really like this idea because there was a, um, I don't know if you guys have seen our YouTube, but there's a gentleman named Mario Ahero, uh, and Aaron, one of the, the owner of Piano Marvel, he uh, did a video with him on our YouTube. Let me get here so you can see what I'm talking about. Aaron did a video with Mario on our YouTube um, recently, which you should check out. They play Spy Song. But uh, the thing that's really cool is Mario Ahero, I went to a convention and his son was there. And his son was learning La Campanella. He learned the first 20% in front of my eyes and like literally an hour. And it was amazing. Like he learned it up to speed using this kind of stuff. So watching him do that was super eye-opening for me because it showed me how you can use this software to learn and how it's like you're memorizing stuff as you go. Like I've already memorized this last part right over here, this uh, measure six. I've memorized that just because... Mm -hmm. It's easier for my brain to remember that because it's not part of this chord that's going on there um, as it's going down. So I don't know. It's just a very interesting One, tool ten, that can be utilized. And watching someone else use it, watching someone else use it really helps um, kind of turn on some light bulbs for you, maybe One, that you didn't realize. Set, go. Okay, that's just silly. I just don't have time. I don't have good rhythm, I mean. <laughs> All right, so this will be combining. This will be fun. Uh, let's do a little prepare mode. Actually, no, I'm going to go on because I'm trying to do this fast and One. I've already been on 12 minutes. I'm not Set. making fast progress. Go. All right. Sorry. I was looking at my comments. Uh, what's up, Paula? How you doing? Hello. Hello, Heather May. I think I said hi to you too. Uh, but if I didn't, then there you go. Hello, everyone. Thanks for uh, giving us comments and uh, liking the thing. We hope that uh, a lot of you guys see this. We have, I think, 6,000 of you out there uh, that like our page. So if you like it, let us One. know so that we can keep doing this kind of Ten. stuff. I, uh, well, I want you guys to go. see how this can be so beneficial for you, for your students. Uh, doesn't really matter the level. Ten. I mean, go. you can study sonatas or you can study easier stuff. Or you can study La Campanella, like Mario O'Hara's son. This opening uh, couple measures aren't that bad, but this towards the end was difficult for me. Set. Hey! Go. 
Paula, I'm glad you enjoy it. Thank you for writing to us. For writing to me. Do you use it to study yourself or do you use it with students? Cool, 98. Alright. One. Set. Paula, yeah, thank you so much for saying that. I'm really happy that uh, you enjoy Piano Marvel so much. Um, I do too. <laughs> It's just this beginning. I'm doing really bad on time, on rhythm today. Um, come on, baby. I think my internet's blowing up. I think I'm blowing up the internet. One, two. close. I know I messed up right there, a little flubber. A little flubmeister. Set. Go. Alright, I'm gonna try to do it with no pedal. I'm using the pedal like it's my name. One. Set. Go. last measure. It's a seventh chord. Maybe. I don't know. Seems like it. One, set. Go. Oh my goodness. too bad for me just because I got that last measure oh. Set. which Go. was giving me problems earlier Ooh, yeah moving on up 
So there are 44. I'm on three. I'm gonna try to get, at least get to 20. I got 40 minutes. I need to pick it up though. This could be insane. Okay, we're doing six measures. Uh, Oh, need some fingering now. I'm getting so many messages from from the developers. Okay, um Try that again. Okay. Interesting. Interesting. One. Set. Go. Interesting. Uh, okay. Let's give it a whirl. I think that's good One. enough for this speed. Set. Go. One. Set. Seven, uh, and I always just jump to that that one D too quickly right there in measure two. One. I think I lost my scroller, and Ten. it could be, it could just be I did something wrong, or this could be just a silly happening one. on beta. Ten. Um, Go. I've noticed sometimes that if you're playing stuff right before, sometimes that can make uh, the computer, at least on the Mac version, it can make the computer think One. you're wrong. Or if you play the note Set. right afterwards, sometimes Go. that happens too. Whoops. Need to focus. One. Set. Go.
cruising, cruising. One, set, go. Faster, but I only missed one note, so that's not too bad. One, set, go. I'm not really liking that finger I'm choosing for the last measure. Let's see if it can stand though. Uh, because I'm trying to learn fast. <laughs> uh, okay, it looks a lot like the beginning. Alberti with some chords. So let's play. Set. Oh, this just stays up. Makes it easier. That measure doesn't do the little fall down thingy. All right, I got 100. I missed my timing on these first ones are not ideal. One, set. Same thing. Uh, I'm trying to see if I see any new comments. I've reached 352 people. Oh my gosh, we got four likes. Uh, comments, hellos, awesome. This is so cool. This is so cool. I've never, I've never, um, I've never live streamed before. This is actually really cool. I like doing it, and uh, it was a little intimidating, I got to say, to to play something in front of someone. But I have a student. Her name is Maggie. And uh, I did this for her the other day because I wanted to show her how the software, how I use the software to be learning that. And I wanted her to see one of the hard parts that I was learning. Uh, so I did that whole thing in front of her and it was just like, it was so cool to be able to um, have her see that and see how I make this. I try to make this be like a video game. Um, and I love video games as a kid. I don't know about y'all, but I... One. Love video games. Set. Go. Ronnie. What's up, Ronnie? Cool. I can practice a lot or a little. Don't forget what I learned as quickly as other methods. Yeah, that's exactly what I learned too, Ronnie, is I... I've used a couple other methods. I've been studying piano seriously for about three years, like pretty dang serious. Um, let me go to this view. Uh, B. Yeah, I've been studying piano pretty seriously for three years, and um, I had tried other stuff, not super extensively, but I know while I've been in college here in Jacksonville, uh, my teachers were trying to get me on a different ways to sight reading and whatnot, and Piano Marvel, uh, that just opened my eyes to like the importance of sight reading. I worked, I started really on method level three after I'd been doing the Sasser, and uh, oh man, doing, uh, doing, sorry, excuse me, um, using Piano Marvel as a method and as a sight reading resource is really up to my game. I mean, that's why I'm able to sit here and read this sonata and learn it super quick. Uh, it's because I realized the importance and that all came from Piano Marvel. Okay, um, where am I, where am I? So, now I'm on to Hands Together. Okay, this will be very interesting. This will be so interesting. That 
first part is just brutal. Okay, Robin. Um, Robin is asking for the recap of new features. Okay, Robin, I'm going to show you real quick. Uh, I'm just going to show you this as solo. So this button right here, you can do page view. Boop. Or you could do scroll view. Scroll view is super sick. You're also being able to use this uh, prepare mode feature that I was just using. And having that on the iPad, I mean, that's a way that I, um, having that on the iPad, that's a way that I learn so fast when I use my Mac. That's what I'm usually using here. Uh, it's a little different using the iPad, but the iPad um, update that's getting ready to come out, it's making it emulate more the Mac and the computer. It's having this prepare mode. It's having all these kind of awesome features. Um, give us a recap of new features. I'm trying to think if there's anything else that I know of. Um, I mean, there's so many things. Uh, but what off the top of my head? Um, as of right now, I think that's all I can think of. More will come, I'm sure, and I'll say them. It's killing me that I don't know what it is though, off the top of my head. Uh, I know for a fact that we're, we're getting a lot better at um, MuseScore compatibility. Uh, I uploaded a song onto beta the other day, onto this thing, and it was a really hard Chopin ballad. Uh, and it like read it immediately without us having to do any kind, of, without me having to go in finale and like change some things around to make it really work. So our developers are working so, so hard. I should change it to this view. Our developers are working so, so hard to like make this a lot more user friendly, especially with these uploading your own, uploading your own song features. Um, it's super helpful uh, what they're doing, and um, I'm super excited to, see, to just see more and more things that they're coming up with, and that people like Aaron and Joel, um, the guys that are leading this, are doing to like implement to make this a more user-friendly software and to make it more fun. So uh, that's great because I don't like putting my laptop on my piano. Um, how do you pause the melody until you get the right note? Yeah, Paula, um, I'm pausing the thing because that's the new prepare mode. So be prepared, the iPad's having that come out. You can do that on the Mac or the PC right now, just pressing that prepare mode. I'm clicking it right now. That's prepare mode uh, and it's waiting. Um, so that's the prepare mode and then assess mode, as you know, it's just uh, the same thing. It's you just get tested, it just goes right through. So I always use the prepare mode to get it in my fingers. Um, to really make sure I got things worked out. So yeah, that's what I use that for. Um, and yeah, Robin, you don't like putting your laptop on your piano. I found a way that really works well for that. Here's my laptop. I use the music stand. So hopefully you can see what I'm doing in this view. I use the music stand and it works well. You may not have a keyboard, which may make this different, uh, but for my for my particular situation, it's, it's kind of ideal. Um, but people with like a $3,000 computer, like I've been thinking about getting a new computer and I don't know if I'd want to put a new computer up here just because I'm bashing the thing like a video game. So yeah. Um, okay. I'm going to get back onto this unless there's any other questions. Uh, when is it coming out? I don't have an exact day. Um, I'm part of the beta testing group that is doing this. I'm part of the beta testing group that is like helping test this with the developers. Uh, and we're trying to get it out as soon as possible. They've made two different kind of builds of this in like the last month. And we're just sitting here testing it to make sure that we're trying to get it out as fast as possible. So hopefully soon. Oh, I see. I, it's that I've never plugged my piano. I mostly, I said I've never plugged my piano in. I mostly use my iPad too. Oh yeah, you should definitely plug your piano in. If you have a keyboard, oh my gosh, that's that's why Piano Marble is so awesome. If if I just use it on an acoustic piano without being able to plug it in, unless you have one of the things that can plug in acoustic pianos to this, I mean, when I learn new songs, I love using keyboards, so I definitely would use plug it in with a cable. Okay, I'm gonna get back to it. Um, so I was here.
Okay, let's try it again. Oh, I got a heart. Uh, that's awesome. Uh, I've audio that I haven't been able to use in months because the plugin won't work with my audio interface. Will this one work? Paul, I need to make sure that I get back to you. Paul, will you message me on Facebook uh, or will you email me? My email's, uh, I don't know if I should be saying this over the thing. My email's djd.music14 at gmail.com. If you email me, I will help you get set up. I promise uh, I'm quick at getting stuff back to you. I'll figure something out. Worst case, I can Skype you and figure something out. Um, Robin, thanks for the heart. Uh, I never plugged my laptop again. Paul, I'm kind of confused. I'm kind of confused. You say you've never used your laptop because all you use is your iPad. Is that what you're saying? John David, djd.music14 at gmail.com. Email me, just say your problem you have, I'll get back to you and I'll, I'll help you figure it out. One, set. All right, I'm gonna hit this right now. No, I'm not. music 14 yes I'm liking it Paul that's perfect you are welcome I see your thank you too so we're good okay perfect yeah please email me I want to help you First one is what it is. One. Right, Robin, Two. I'm glad you love this. Go. I could be messing up your message now. Okay, what the heck was that? Uh Attention love this, use it with my students and myself. Anxiously awaiting prepare mode for iPad. Uh, yeah, Paula and Robin. Yeah, prepare mode is coming to iPad. It's gonna be insane. I'm so excited about it. One. Again. Uh, okay. Uh, I'm going 
going down. timing there. I mean, I know I'm playing weird timing all around. here uh 42 minutes this has been super fun i'm sorry i haven't played too much uh, i hope that all y'all like the uh answers that i've been giving though i've been trying to be diligent and answering and making sure that you're heard uh, and that you also see all these cool things that are coming out um so yeah thank you so much for writing in i really appreciate it uh let's see if i can do it so yeah i usually just once i know it i don't go to prepare mode again We do a little one set go the menu under there uh, uh. it's just up a step well I know it I'm not even like looking at the keys like and I feel like that's because of the software I'm not blowing stuff up my skirt it's because of the software I mean I, I realized I, I think I know it better than I realize I do and I say that and then I mess myself up of course
So I said I was gonna get to 20. Where am I at? I'm on six and I have 14 minutes. Oh my goodness. I don't know if I'm getting to 20. I thought today, I'm glad I didn't say this when I started. I thought today I could get to, I could finish the whole thing in an hour, but that is not the case. But isn't that the truth with piano? Like you think that you can do the whole thing and then it realizes, um, and then it ends up being way harder than you think. That's just life in general. Okay, so I'm starting fingers on five here. to the end of the first 16 bars um, and then that's the repeat so let's see if I can at least finish this up before this live streams over uh, that C is a sharp which makes it interesting Two people have been reached. This is so cool. Live stream is still up. Cool. Um, sorry about that. I got a call. Uh, <laughs> uh, okay, assessing, assessing, assessing. Okay, uh, let's assess it. 14 seconds. Thank you. 
perfect. That's my first like hundred. Oh my gosh. Eight more minutes to see if I can finish up this number One. at least. Ten. Uh, seven, eight, nine. Go. Cool, I got two viewers right now. Howdy ho. Making my way through this second movement of Sonata K45 by Mozart. Uh, I'm just trying to get on here to see how fast I could get through it. I wanted to show you guys some of the tools that I use to do it. And I also wanted to kind of preview some of the stuff that's coming out real soon. One, we hope to get this iPad ten, beta out to um, our users. Four, that is not good. One, ten, go. Cool hundred left side, left hand. Um, Too bad. I can probably get to that right now. One, set, go. Got it. Okay, I'm coming up on the end here, really trying to push hard on this Set. last uh, few minutes. Go. That's a better figure. bring these together four minutes to bring these together let's see if I can do it oh no did I not do that yet uh, okay One, set. time too that's always that is always one of my favorite things right there uh, okay this will be fun let's use this prepare mode Let's see if I can do it. Mm -hmm. 
one more time, I think. getting much better here. Um, One, set, go. So that was useful because it shows me where my weakest points are. fifth finger on that top. Go. All right, I just hit the hour mark and I'm getting so close. It's frustrating. I want to like perfect this for you. Um, One. Let's see, I'll give myself Go. a couple chances. together um okay yeah i'm gonna finish it up here uh let's go solo yeah so i brought the hands together uh, i didn't get nearly as far as i wanted to on this i'm sorry that i wasn't able to it would have been nice to at least be able to show that i got the first 16 uh, bars of this done but yeah i got well underway um i looked and got to answer some questions and comments from some of y'all. I got to show you a little bit of the new features of beta, which I'm really excited about. And I know our entire team has been working really hard and they're super excited to share a lot of this stuff with you. Uh, we've been listening to your emails. We've been listening 
to you guys say stuff to us at conventions. Like we really do listen to you guys and we want to bring the best product that we can to you for your students, for yourself, uh, everyone. So just know that we are listening and um, we will have, we're working hard to get all this kind of stuff done. Um, and yeah, if you have any questions, please reach out to us, uh, give us an email, um, give us a call during our business hours. We'd love to talk to you. And uh, yeah, I hope you look forward to more videos like this. I'd love to do this maybe every couple weeks or so and just kind of try to show you guys how fast I can learn something, show you my progress as well as um, show you some tips and tricks and answer any questions that you guys may have and try to just maintain communication with, with y'all. So thank you so much for watching this, for anyone that's seen this, for sticking in, if, especially if you made it the entire way. Uh, thank you so much. Um, I hope I didn't bore you too much with learning that. Next time you see me, uh, it will be even better. And maybe I'll play the beginning movement for you. Who knows? Uh, yeah, thank you so much. Again, signing off. Thanks.